Hello buddy, my name is Eric, and today we got a fun video. So I recently made a post on X mocking antivirus signature scans, and I thought, you know what, this could actually be a full video where I demonstrate. So here we've got three Windows executables. Uh, two versions of a test program I wrote for testing wine. Essentially what this was, what this program does, and the patch I was working on, I'll just demonstrate it, uh, is it prints to the console the number of CPUs you have in the Affinity Mask for them. Now, if you had greater than 64 on Wine, that would actually trigger a bug where you would get 64 physical processors and 64 logical, which would crash applications. I was troubleshooting why Photoshop was crashing, and that's how this came about. So, this program was just to help troubleshoot that. Uh, it's completely harmless, although antivirus scanners would disagree. This is simply the same thing, not packed. Uh, this one's UPX, and this is malware I wrote and showed a while ago. Now this is technically obsolete in the sense uh, it actually would probably crash because we don't have Chrome installed. Uh, this program is technically obsolete since uh, it doesn't have the new protections for Chrome's protections, but now let's see. Uh, what will the antivirus scanners make of these three programs? First of all, uh, let's try the UPX packed uh, legitimate executable. Wow. GTXC Trojan. Generic Cryptic. Generic Cryptic. I, I guess that's like cryptid. Okay, fair enough. Evogen. Cryptagent. Generic. AI detect. Now, this, this is what triggers me because this is garbage. If this is what your machine learning AI antivirus is doing, you're being scammed. Uh, all it's doing is simply checking. Oh, is it packed? Uh, is it unsigned? Uh, well, it can still be malicious. I have never seen a real malware get this many detections. We've got Google, eScan, even ESET is falling for this. And most of these are at least telling you why, which is helpful when diagnosing a false positive. Uh, Defender also doesn't like this one. Brilliant. Uh, Tremors, Trojan Generic. Now, of course, uh, let's try this. Maybe it's just the packer. Let's get rid of the packer. Now this file uh, simply calls a single Windows API. Oh, look at that. Shellcode runner. Uh, no, it, it's just a C++ program. Uh, it, it's actually basically pasted source code from Microsoft.com. Okay, uh, VRNM. So we actually get, we get different uh, hits, but still several. That bypasses Google account verification. Okay. ML attribute high confidence. I'd hate to see what low confidence looks like. A McAfee scanner has some weird hit for it, and of course everyone's uh, favorite company, CrowdStrike, 70% uh, confident this is malicious. So the real test then is, okay, let's try some malware. And of course the benefit of using self-created malware is that while heuristic detection, if it was actually any good, which was the whole reason I wrote this sample, would detect it, Engines won't because it's not going to be in signatures. So, the three that hit it were, let's compare, Bcov Pro, Elastic, Moderate Confidence, and Sangpur Engine Zero. Every other engine here uh, has no doubts about the legitimacy of this file. So what might be interesting, especially given we've had some good luck with Bitdefender's heuristics before, is actually to try downloading Oh, those are ads. Okay, that makes sense. The free Bitdefender antivirus, which worked well in our videos before, and seeing if it's up to the challenge. Oh, this is total. This isn't. They kind of try to hide it, but here we go. Of course, to prove that this is, in fact, uh, uncrypted malware, uh, let's see. Let's see what Binary Ninja has to say. Now, of course, this is a Rust binary, so it's not. It's not like C where you're going to get wonderful decompilation, but if we just give it a second, we can just go on down to the strings and we can find what we're after. Now, something you will notice uh, on Rust strings is they're weirdly terminated, so we actually have two strings here that are together, but here we go. Uh, that certainly looks legit to me, and we can see this is in fact uh, called in the program. Let's give this a bit of time to... And here we get another uh, program that's being used for entirely legitimate purposes. We're running task kill on Chrome. Why do you do that? Well, I'm not going to give away, I don't really want to teach people how to write an info stealer, but 
there there is a reason why impost healers kill your browser. Uh, so that could be another heuristic. Of course, we executed this impost stealer while uh, Windows Defender was running, and absolutely nothing happened. Oh, let's see why it's got an X up. Is there actually anything meaningful? Oh, right, because uh, Bitdefender is replacing it. And these are not triggering a false positive, which is good. Now, what about the true positive? No indication so far that we can't run it. Now, I do have multiple versions of this, so we could try uh, could try another one. Uh, ba basically, and I, I never bothered making a config for this, but th there were there are two versions of this that work slightly differently, so we can just uh, try the other version. Okay, so we got everything engaged, and let's just test this again. No trouble. No trouble with either of these. we we'll just try to see if they're actually working. These must be the ones after I removed the debug print. Yep, they'll work flawlessly. But, at least we can give this... Yep, we can run both of these without trouble. And can we scan it? We should be able to. Well, I mean, I guess we can call that half marks. At least it didn't falsely... I mean, it because Defender falsely flags this as malware. But Defender doesn't. But, yeah. So, one of the reasons I made this video, in addition to the fact I just think it's interesting is in response to my vi previous video about have you been hacked, I, I got some criticism about choosing, telling people if you don't know what to do to reinstall Windows rather than to use some antivirus scanning tool. Well, this is why, and I, I already, I expected this video to end this way. Uh, the reality is, in the current environment of very low impact to your computer, but high impact to your personal data, malware, tools that work off of signatures and even some heuristic detection are just not that effective. By the time the antivirus definition has been updated to detect the current strain, uh, they can just tweak it, uh, either by changing the crypting or just changing some of the code. Because the reality is, I mean, I'm not going to show the code for my simple stealer, but it's a f it's like 200 lines of Rust. It's just not that easy to detect that. And you, you can write it in anything. It, it, it's just... Unfortunately, the current era we're in, it's just very hard for automated tools right now. Maybe, maybe AI is going to make this better in the future, but for now, it's just kind of disappointing. Uh, I also thought, uh, as we're at the end of the video, if you want to see uh, more unseen malware, the PC Security Channel made a really good video uh, with ransomware instead with similar results. Luckily, Bitdefender caught it, but several extremely expensive solutions didn't. So if you need something to watch now, I'm going to strongly recommend that video because it's very interesting. It's all for me for now. Bye.